Welcome back everybody. Um, been a while since I made my last video, but I gotta say I feel super privileged to be able to be working from, as, from home as much as I have been lately. Uh, I've got tons of oddball fabrication work I've been doing for people. Uh, I've got a customer's bike right here, also a V-Star 1100. Um, his tank is back here. I'll be doing a couple videos, uh, hopefully within the next month here. Um, another complete video on dishing tanks. I've got some new tools. I'm gonna do some product review, but spring is here. Today is the first day of spring, um, and I gotta get some work done on my bike because I mean, I'd like to be able to get out and ride it and enjoy it this summer. So done a couple little things uh, since the last video I made. I'm working on some pipes. Um, I'll do a separate video on those when I get them figured out. But in order to move forward, uh, I wanna get a rear fender on this. I've done a couple different versions that I did not like. Uh, one was cutting up the rear, or sorry, the front fender and I added some quarter, quarter inch round to it. Wasn't completely impressed with it. Way too skinny for this bike. So I searching around online, I found a couple designs I liked. I'm kind of basing this off of like an old FLH bobber. Uh, with the half shrouds, the shorty bars, uh, the beat up look. So I ended up purchasing, uh, you can call it like a trailer fender, but it is a, a motorcycle specific fender. It's got a little bit of a flare up here uh, at the base. So I got a good cash deal on it. The only thing is I had to buy what they had in stock and six inches was the widest they had in stock. Um, so it does not fit over the 170, not even close. I think uh, it was sitting about, I don't know, somewhere between a quarter, maybe half inch in on the tire. So what I'm gonna do is give it my own little uh, flare, I guess. I'm gonna cut it right down the center. I've got some eighth inch thick, uh, one and a quarter wide flat stock. So I measured out my three inches, taped it off. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna stick that right in the center, uh, tack it on both sides. I'm going to recreate the flare up here at the bottom so it folds over nicely and it'll give it a bit of depth going down the center because I'm gonna sit it on top. I'm not going to um, keep it flush. I want it raised a little bit in the center. I might do speed hole designs down the side and I might end up doing a couple down the center. It's gonna kind of match some of the other stuff I'm going with for, like this is uh, a mock-up for the exhaust shield. So I wanna get the fender cut and tacked up and then I'm gonna build a mount and maybe some fender struts. That's today's plan, that's today's video. Let's see how far we can make it. All right, so I got my piece of uh, steel here bent up. I got pretty close recreating the edge here. I just do a little bit of heat with the propane torch to get the bends I needed. So we take this over, throw it on here. You see how tight that fit is? That'll be perfect. And then as I start welding, the heat will allow me to draw this closer. I got my arch pretty much set out. And like I said, as you start tacking in place, the heat transfers and you'll be able to bend it even smoother. Um, I got the inside prepped. And then what I did here was I measured, I needed three quarters of an inch extra width. And this is inch and a quarter wide. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch on both sides and that's gonna be my overlap. Uh, this is just black permanent marker. And then I hit the scribe, um, four different spots. So I know that I can match it up with the fender. See there. So that would be my line where I tack in. I'll tack on either side of my scribe there, and then I'll keep working my way around the fender. And then I'll do the same thing to the other half of the fender, and then we'll come back and uh, retest fit it. All right, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. Grab a few things here. That's where we're at. Uh, everything fits super snug. It folded around really nice. And I definitely got the look I was going for. It's more medieval looking. Um, 
I want the bike basically to look like it was pulled right out of the ground from, you know, the 50s or 60s. So uh, I've taken the springs out just to kind of see fitment where the fender was. And I'm actually kind of thinking I might go with a hard mounted seat. Uh, I've done it once before. It's a little bit harder on the back, but I, I think the flow of this one actually looks better not having the springs in it. But I might try switching from the coils over to the clevis and see how that works. But uh, something else I'm deciding right now, I had the fender pulled down further. And I mean, that's, that's kind of more in my comfort zone, having a shorter fender that's just hard mounted, uh, free hanging. So I came up with a cool idea, I think. Um, put this together. So this is a half inch Allen key um, and an old socket. And what I think I'm going to do, I have the fender mounted over the axle and I'm going to build a mounting plate. And basically you get the idea. Here, I'll throw these on a magnet so I can uh, zoom out and you guys can see that better. All right, so you can kind of see what I'm going for here. I'm going to make a bracket that goes up on the back of the frame here uh, that will hard mount that. And then with uh, the strut here, what I plan to do is weld the nut on the inside and put a bolt through the back so it'll stay secure. I'm gonna weld this onto the socket and I'm unsure down here yet, but I might make a bracket uh, and do a shorter socket or cut this socket down and then have this so it goes in and then clips into here and it won't come back out because, well, one, I'm not gonna put anybody on the rear of it and two, it'll be secured both here and at the front. So it's, it's more or less just for extra support and to keep it off the tire, which I'm not worried. It's pretty thick walled uh, fender anyway, so I'm not worried about it moving or anything, but it's more aesthetics than anything. So I think that's the idea. If anybody's wondering, that's a half inch uh, Allen key. And I think the equivalent metric is 12 millimeter, 13 millimeter. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. I think that's the way I'm going to run it, but uh, got to find another Allen key. So I'm going to go on the hunt for that right now and I'll catch up with you guys next time. And we will uh, hopefully get the struts done. And I'm going to go into depth a little bit more on the pipes because I got a few more things I got to do uh, to get them exactly where I wanted. The front one here is a little bit too long for the rear one, or maybe the rear one needs to be a little bit longer. So, but I also got signals I got to fit in there. So we'll find out on the next episode what I'm going to do, but uh, thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.